Good morning, class 11 students. Um, we are studying the uh, eighth chapter of Chemistry 1, Chemical Kinetics. And uh, previous topics were uh, introduction to chemical kinetics, rate chemi of chemical reaction, velocity of chemical reaction, and their units. Uh, you have done the work, excellent. If you have not, please uh, share with me. I know you're busy with your sixth chapter, but yeah, this work is also important. So today's top, today I will uh, explain to you how to take the test. That will also, that's also the part of this class. But mainly today we will do the next topic in our chapter number eight, uh, which is chemical kinetics, okay? And uh, our today's topic is rate expression and rate constant. Since you have learned these things in the uh, sixth chapter already, so it should not be very difficult for you. Uh, because these topics we have learned already when you were in class six, in the, not class six, but sixth chapter of this, is cl this class. So uh, let's move further and uh, let's see. Uh, not new for you, you know already, uh, hypothetical reaction. Uh, M moles of A plus N moles of B give you products. Single arrow is not reversible reaction. It is irreversible reaction. So what is the reaction? There's only forward reaction. There's no backward reaction because it's an irreversible reaction. So if you know the law of mass action, all of you know, law of mass action we all know, the rate of a reaction is directly proportional to the product of active masses of the reactant. So that's very simple. So how do you write it? Rate of reaction proportional to A, M, B, N. And you know it from the sixth chapter. Now, to change the proportionality sign into equals to, what we do? We give a constant. Now here, keep in mind that dx upon dt is how we express the, how we show the rate. dx upon dt is the rate of reaction. k is the rate constant. a power m is the active mass of a reactant. And b power m is the active mass of B reactant. So it's a very simple one. Now, what is this reaction? This equation called is called rate expression. This equation is called rate expression, or it's called rate law. There are two names. One is the rate expression. This expression above, this one uh, in the yellow, dx upon dt is equal to. This is known as the rate expression or the rate law. And it is experiment, determined experimentally. Now, wait a minute. This what we have done is not experimentally. It's just like we saw the equation and we write it. That's it. You will find many examples in the book. First example or second one, write the rate expression. So this writing is simple. But basically, it's not like this. We go to laboratories. We take the reactant. A and B, we use them, we increase the amount of A. We see did the rate change or not. If it is possible that one of the reactant is, uh, its concentration is not affecting the rate. Got it? Yes. So this is called the rate law. I mean, maybe M moles of A, but A is uh, by doubling the amount of A, the rate is unchanged. So if doubling the amount of A, the rate is unchanged, the A will not appear in the rate, rate law. So this rate law, which you are looking at right now, or which you will do if you see the example number, I don't know which one in the book. We just write these rate laws and rate expression, expressions like manually, but in the actual practice, scientists go to the laboratory, okay? And in the laboratories, they use the real reaction. And in the real reaction, they increase or decrease the quantity of reactants to check if they really matter, if they if increase in their concentration, really increase the rate or not. 
So the A power M and B power N is hypothetical. In real life, these rate laws come through experiments. Okay? K is called the rate constant or velocity constant. Now, what is rate constant? Now, if you have uh, dx upon dt equal to k a b. So what is k? It will be the ratio of dx upon dt and a b d delta x taken concentration letter. So this is the ratio. Rate constant is basically a ratio of the rate of the reaction. Okay, rate of the reaction divided by the product of active mass of the reactants. This is easy busy. The ratio of the rate of reaction to the product of active masses of the reactants is known as rate constant. Okay, now rate constant's unit will depend on the rate expression. Like look at here. If the rate is in mole per dm cube, and the A B is also mole per dm cube, then K has no unit, and so. Now, if there is a mole per dm cube for A, mole per dm cube for B, okay, mole square dm power, dm cube whole square, and the rate is mole per dm cube, they, they cancel. It means that the unit of K comes from this expression. And this expression comes from experiment, maybe uh, A power M. So a, a power 2 or A power 1 or A power 0, it also happens. So the unit of the uh, rate constant depend on the rate expression. And how, the uh, because uh, if there's a one mole, it's mole per dm cube. If it's a square, it's mole square dm cube whole square. If it's cube like that, so K has changing units for different rates. Now, especially the exponent M and N. These M and N are, we write it from the equation of the book, but in real life, they come from the experiments only. So. K's unit depend upon the rate expression. Mostly they are in molar concentration, mole per dm cube. Sometimes mole per dm cube, sometimes mole square per dm cube, dm power minus six or inverses like that. In future, we will do this as well. Now, what is rate constant and what controls rate constant? Rate constant is independent of concentration of AB. Because if you increase AB and the rate is increased, the ratio is unchanged. You know? So it depends on only one factor, and this is temperature. You know, there's only fun, one factor. Fun factor, one factor. Rate constant has a fixed value at particular temperature. Temperature is the only factor. If you change the temperature, the K will, value of K will change. Uh, no matter how you change the A and B, because if you, if you change the concentration, the rate will change accordingly and k is the ratio so there's no effect yeah but if you have a high value of k for any reaction okay let us say uh, one reaction has a value of k 100 why is 100 because the dx upon dt is much bigger than the concentration so bigger value of k shows you a faster rate and a smaller value of k shows you a slower rate okay now, next uh, and last is the, it's about also the rate constant, but it's different. How? I'll show you. If you know this expression, it's called the rate expression. Okay. Dx upon dt is equal to k a power m and b power n. Now, if suppose that a is equal to 1 and b is also 1, the values of active masses of both the reagents to be unity, then it will be like this, which means K is equal to the, the rate constant is equal to the rate of reaction. In such cases, we call this rate constant specific rate constant and we define and if we define it as the rate of reaction when the concentration of both reactants is one. Okay, special rate constant is defined as the rate of the reaction when the concentration of both reactants is equal to one. This is called the specific rate constant. So I hope you understood this lecture. It's a pretty small one. Rate expression, uh, rate expression, uh, rate constant, okay, and uh, a specific rate constant. 
you have to uh, basically uh, fear it and use it in your in your copies okay and after uh, fearing these work in your copies um, uh, you have to go to your book on page number 229 and you will find out there few examples how to read uh, constant expression for different reactions there is you know them all the exponent go powers okay the two examples says y is plus what is y is minus dA upon dt and what is plus dB upon dt well plus because the powers are increasing and they because discussed already a uh, third example again the same and fourth is on the basis of this uh, lecture so kindly uh, do do work on example one two three four and also pay this work Right. So after this, now I will give you a smaller lecture on how you can take the test on Red Day. And I also want to share with you some mistakes that we as uh, teachers and the students as uh, test takers make. And I don't want you to make those mistakes. OK, so first thing first. We have your email addresses mm -hmm. and from today yeah from today we will start sending a code today after 8 p.m in the night don't wait now don't worry now we will send individual codes to individual students separately when you receive the code relax be cool, all right? Don't check your email all the time. Today is Monday, tomorrow is Tuesday, test is on Wednesday. So if you don't get the code until Tuesday 8 p.m., got it? Then you text me that I did not receive the code. Until then, don't text anyone or don't panic. Casually check your phone if you see the code. Well, no, well, no problem, relax. So if you have not sent me the email, you can send me now anytime on my WhatsApp and I will note it and I will, I will send you the code from today, tonight after 8 p.m. And you don't just be prepared for the code is coming, okay? No, 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 just relax, chill out, man, study. If you don't see the code by Tuesday 8 p.m., then you should worry. And then you should uh, text me about it and I'll give you the code. So once you give the, get the code, what you do with it, okay? If you uh, have a cell phone or you have a laptop or you have a computer which has internet access, they have a browser like this. Different phones have different browsers. You all know it. And what you have to do is just uh, right here, okay? Then oh, the instruction videos has already been given to you. So what you do is you go here in the register for free and press the all test taker and then you put the code here. Code here, your name, your last name, username. Username should be your name, then 001. For next test, it will be 002 with a new code. And password, anyone you want. So once you receive the code, you register yourself to this website. Okay? And then you will be logged in then don't worry, remember the username and password with you, right somewhere, and wait until tomorrow, until Wednesday 8 p.m. So five minutes before the test, kindly log in from that username and that password. Exactly at 8 p.m., you will see a button start the test. You can reload the page and check again, okay? And then you can do the test, right? Test video is already given. Uh, to you on the WhatsApp pages. Thank you so much. Good luck. See you tomorrow with more lecture on the 8th chapter.